kwa majina ni mstahiki naibu wa gavana Flora Mpeta Chibule na mimi nikiwa hapa Kilifi nimeangalia ya kwamba wasichana wetu lazima tuangazie nataka kusema ya kwamba nimeangalia kwa kina yale ambayo yanatendeka ndani ya nchi katika kaunti jirani na hata hapa ndani ya kaunti yetu ya Kilifi na nimeona it is high time kama mama tuweze kusemezana na wasichana wetu mimi jambo la kwanza i condemn he act ya kwamba kuna vijana na wengi ni vijana perpetrators wengi wanadhulumu hao wasichana ni vijana wanawakatakata wengine wanadungwa kisu wengine wananyongana jamani tunakemea hiyo kabisa mimi amongst other leaders and amongst all female haswa kama mama tunaumizwa sana na hili jambo na ningeomba nilikondemu mwanzo hivi juzi hapa kwangu county kilifi county tulianza na pale pwani university wasichana wa kike mwanzo kuna hii case moja a first year for heaven's sake akadungwa kisu those are some of the securities unazozungumzia lighting system ama wale wa, wa between mahali yule msichana anapolala manake uh, wanalala within the uh, around outside the outskirts of uh, of Pwani University security ya zile sehemu ziko vipi lazima tuangalie jambo kama hilo na juzi malindi msichana wa kike kuuliwa kisha mtu mwenye mwe pepeteta kwenda kujisema mambo kama hii jamani ushetani pia jamani tuuzungumzie Tuwazungumzia mambo ya Illuminati. Jamani kama wewe uko katika cults kama hizi tuzikondemu zote. Maana ka hizo zingine ni cults. How do you uh, wewe utakwaje mmoja yule ambao utafanya kitendo kio alafu ndio kujisalimisha? Na tuzungumzie mambo ya mental health jamani. Watu hawa wanaotekeleza maovu kama haya. Aidha wako katika cults ama wao wenyewe ni mashetani ama agents wa shetani. Jamani tuangalie watoto wetu kwa karibu be a brothers a, a, a sister keeper and when we do that we are going to make a, a, a safe haven katika maeneo yale, yale ambayo tunayoishi kweli hali ya, ya uchumi ni ngumu lakini kuwa na mbinu ambazo utafanya kazi na mikono yako ili upate lakini hizi njia zingine za rahisi rahisi sivyo wasichana wangu tafadhali don't ride on men's back ambao wanakupa tu we wa, 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 you just demand u demand just know after hizo demands unazozifanya na ukipewa utakuja kulipa na maisha yako ndio hayo tunakuonya kuanzia sasa hivi acha tena wetu wa kike mavazi yao mwanzo yasiwe mavazi ambayo yanavutia the other sex wale wanaume wengine ili kuwaeka box na kufanya vitendo kama vile Jambo la pili hizi hawa watu ambao wana lodging ama guest house na currently tuna hii mambo ya Airbnb tafadhali ningewaomba muje na policies ambazo security iwe very key jamani security mtu amechukua chumba mtu amechukua nyumba can you get namba zao za simu id namba zao kukiwa na la salala limetokea kuna vile tuweza ku watu kama hawa jamani alafu uh, makanisa misikiti mko wapi tuelezee hawa wasichana wetu vijana wetu jamani cha bure cha umiza leo hii wewe lazima ujukumike you have to be wewe kama msichana usitake vya bure wewe pigania haki yako fanya kazi wataka kitu cha kizuri ambacho unakitaka kifanyie kazi we mwenyeji jitole jasho we mwenyewe. Hmm? Ukiwa wa depend na mtu, mtu ataanza kukupatia vizuri vizuri lakini hapo hapo kawaida kikulacho kingoni mwako. Ya kupatia ya kupamba lakini hao hao usipoendana na matakwa yao. Na na mshua ni, ni kwamba deal imeenda sawa. Hmm? Labda amekwambia ufanye kitu ambacho we mwenyewe ukikiangalia huwezi kukifanya lakini umekuwa kila pesa zake sasa ya bidi you have to compromise. Labda se, the only option ni kukumaliza kwa sababu hataki labda hiyo siri ambayo mmekuwa mkiifanya iwe pale peupe. Tuwe na hizo laws. 
tunazi uh, ai nazipigia upato zaidi kwa sababu hapa kilifi tuna hoteli lakini pia kuna manyumba mengi yamekuwa Airbnb nafikiri hili jambo pia na sisi tukili tukilisukuma kuwe kujena certain laws kama kwa mfano waeke zile kamera ama waeke a physical person ku that place kama kuna walagai kama wale nafikiri njia zao zitakuwa fupi nafikiri hilo hilo ni jambo ambalo mimi nataka niliunge li, li mkono kabisa na hata na gavana ninajua jambo kama hilo liki, likija uh, tukilitatua pamoja nafikiri tutaweza ku, ku, kumaliza hayo maneno ama kwa asilimia fulani iweze kupungua we need medicine we don't need money to talk to people against gender based violence like we need buildings and roads we don't need people singing about gender based violence but gender based violence is very is fatal people are dying people are getting to be disab disabled because of gender based violence gender based violence this is how it happens someone who has been hurt will end up hurting others so it becomes a chain or a circle of trauma how we are going to end this is by helping our sisters brothers girls boys women elderly to raise their voices because some of them cannot express themselves